Welcome to the channel. Car boot report. I got out today, I had an hour strolling around, and I found the following items. First of all, this hook wrench from uh, King Dick. There you go. Uh, they still exist. They're, they're a British company. I don't even know whether they're manufacturer in the UK still. This particular one is, uh, you can see the little arrow there, that's uh, War Department mark. But I should guess this is X-Army. They, they still, the War Department mark, they still kind of use it to stamp stuff. So it doesn't mean this is ancient. I mean, I, I should think this is probably post 80s. King Dick still sell these, although they're not the six size. They sell the eight size for about 30 or 40 quid. Used, you can buy these for about 15 quid. Pleased about that, 50p I paid. So um, I will hide that somewhere where I will never find it again. And when I need it, I will improvise with a, a punch and a hammer. But I know I have it somewhere, so I'm pleased about that. Next comes this nice little knife. So this is uh, an old British made, I, I'm pretty sure that's carbon steel instead of stainless steel. Um, it's a really nice solid blade. I love the wooden handle. I should, I should think this is probably, I don't know, 60s, 70s, something in that ilk. I have uh, the handle, I have applied some boiled linseed oil to that. So I left that sit on there for about three hours and um, that'll now be fine. Um, it's got a blade, a pretty ugly blade. I'm not even going to sharpen this. I'm, I'm going to use this not for cutting. If I need to cut something, I have uh, lots of disposable blades that are going to have a much finer edge than I'm going to get out of this and I can't be bothered with regular sharpening. I'm going to use this much for, for gouging and scraping. Um, this is going to replace this thing, which is my old everything blade that is ugly and unpleasant. You know, when you kind of like need to scrape something. But the blade on this is so long, I had always wondered whether it's worth cutting it down. But it's such a cheap thing. It's, it's, I mean, look at the blade, look at that, look at that, look at that bentness. So it's, it's replacing that. That goes into the bin and this goes on the magnetic rail. There you go. Last thing I found, and again, that knife was 50p. Um, last thing I found was this thing, which is Mont Blanc. Um, it's replacement uh, ink cartridge sort of things, you know, for your, for your fancy pen. There are a dozen of them. I don't know. I'm, so we'll put that over there, but the thing I want, I want the packaging, because I keep my outside drill bits come in these sort of nifty uh, uh, plastic containers. My 22, I think, my 22 mil, I haven't got one, and I haven't got one for my 12, but I now do, so I'm going to stick that in there, that goes on top like that, and then that can sit in my drawer. And then with that, I have 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 and 22. And of course, I have an engineering drill set, which goes from um, from 0.1 mil up to, I think, 10 mil in 0.1 mil steps. So with that, I'm actually pretty happy on my drill bits. I'm really pleased I found a cover for this one because it knocks around and it's annoying. Um, and that again, I paid 50p again for that as well. So £1.50, I found three nice new things I can mess with. Really pleased with that. Um, and I hope that was interesting. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.